In the previous video, I show you how to create a stickman in Moho. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create a stickman in a different version with 360 body rotation. If you are new to 360 body rotation, it is a great idea to start with a simple one, which I'm going to show you in this video. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Go to Draw Shape Tools. Choose the color which are fill in white and stroke in black. Then draw a circle like this. Name it as head. Make a new layer and name it mouth. Go to Draw Shapes 2. Choose the color in a little darker. Then draw a mouth shape something like this. Make a new layer and draw a circle like this. Remove the stroke and change the fill color in black. Select all the points and copy and paste. Move off a little bit and select the shape right on the top. Then go to subtract. As you now can see, it subtracts the eye and made the eye closed. Let's name this layer as eyes. Click on the eye shapes, press copy and paste. Move it to the size a little bit. Select all the layers and put it into a group. I'm going to name it as a hat group. Make a new layer and name it as body. Go to add point tools and draw up a straight line like this. Go to create shape tools and create a shape and add another point in the middle. Select the shape and change the stroke in white color and then increase the stroke a little bit. Using line width two to increase the stroke once more. Move the body layer under the head layer. Let me adjust the position and the scales a little bit. Now double click on body layer. Then take the outline on. As you can see, there is an outline. Duplicate the body layer and name it arm. Move to the size and rotate it a little bit. Reduce the size by using line width tool. Create a new layer and name it subtract. Let's just draw a simple circle like this. Move the subtract layer under the arm layer. Group them together. Double click the group layer and go to masking, reverse all and apply. Now the joint between the body and the arm looks more decent. I'm going to set the origin point right at the corner of the arm layer. Now rotate the arms a little bit. Name it right arm. Duplicate the arm layer and name is left arm. Flip it over and move to the left a little bit. Duplicate another one for the leg. We are going to make something change on the leg. So add another point right over here. Try to make it like a foot. Duplicate another one and flip it over. I'm going to increase the scales a little bit, setting the number around 82. Oh, I forgot to change the name. I'll do it now. I will increase the size on another leg as well. Now select all the layer and make a group, then convert to bone. Now, let's add the body bones individually. The same process as we made a stickman in the previous video. Additionally, I'm going to add some extra bones to control the body joints. Please make sure that 
all the individual extra bones should be parented to the upper arm and leg bones separately. Now, if we go to frame one and play around, it is going crazy because we still need to apply the body points to the bones. So let's start with the body layer. Select the body layer. Go to select bone and select the core bone. Go to bind point two and select the lower point on the body. Click bind points, which means that part of body point has connected to the bone we selected. Let's move on by selecting the chest bone. Back to bind points two and select another two points on the body. Then click bind points. So which means the upper two points has connected to the chest bone. Now let's work with the arm on the right. Select the arm layer. Select a bone on the right upper arm using bind point tools and select the two upper points and click bind points. Do it the same for the lower point. Now we have a subtract layer here. We will use bind layer tools and connect it to joint control bone on the right. So just keep doing the same process. For the heads and mouth and eyes, we will use bind layer only. Once we are done applying layers to the bones, it works, but we still have a tiny problem here. There are some gaps at the joints when we rotate the arms or legs. Let's fix this by using smart bone system. Let's start with the right arm. Select the upper bone. Go to action. If you do not see this panel, just press Ctrl or Command and K. Make a new action and go to frame 24. Then rotate or bend the arms like this. Now rotate the control bone. There is no more gap. Now let's move on to frame 48 and raise the arm, then rotate the control bone. Keep doing the same process on the left arm. Now if we go to frame 1 and make a test, the gaps are closed. Let's proceed for the legs. Now all the body parts are working properly. Let's make the eye close and the mouth open. Press escape to deselect all the bones and add a new bone. Then enable the anchor constraints. Remove bone constraint on the new bone. Then press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste for three times. So let's name the first bone as the eyes closed. Make a new action. Moving down the subtractive shape to make the eye closed. Add another smart action in the same bone. Go to frame 1. Move the subtractive shape below the eyeballs. Add frame 24. Moving up the subtractive shapes like this. Now we got two different kind of eye closing. Select the second cement bone. Name it as mouth open. Create a new action. And adjust the shape to make the mouth open. I'm going to adjust the shape from the head to make like the jaw is opening. Now let's make 360 body rotation. Set the anchor constraint on the last bone as negative 180 degree and 180 degree and name it body rotation. Create a new action. Hide the other body parts but the leg in the left. One important thing to be aware of is don't forget to turn on the layer order in the bone layer. Go to frame 48 and then rotate the bone at 180 degree. Go to frame 24. Select the leg bone and move it to the center. Now go to frame 5. Move the leg layer under the body layer. Go to frame 48 and select the left leg bone. Then move it all the way to the right. Do not rotate the foot in this way but this way. Finally, just rotate the joint control bone. Let's unhide the leg on the right and move it to the center. Rotate the foot and adjust the joint. 
Move the right foot all the way to the left at frame 48. Rotate the foot a little bit. And move the right leg layer under the body layer too. Turn on the right arm and move to the center at frame 24. And move to the left at frame 48. Rotate a little bit. Now turn on the left arm. Go to frame 5 and move it under the body layer. Then move it to the center. As you can see, the left arm layer should be under the left leg layer. Let's get this one fixed now. Now at frame 48, let's move the left arm all the way to the right. Bring all the two arms all the way down at the bottom. Select the symbol and create a new action. Rotate the smartphone to the negative 180. Do the same thing as we did before. We have made the body rotation. Now it is time to create the head rotation. Create a new bow and name it head rotation. First of all, let me mask this head group layer. Create a new action. At frame 24, move the eyes and the mouth layer to the left. Move them again at frame 48 until they disappear. Create another action and do it the same. Now the head can be rotated. Navigate to body rotation action again. Try to rotate the head to follow the body rotation. Now as you can see, we finally have made a full 360 body rotation and it is working very well. If we look at the heel from the back side, it looks like very sharp. When we see it in close up or render view, it will be just okay. Alright, that is for this video guys. 
I hope you enjoy watching and learn something new. If you have any question regarding to this video, please leave it in the comment below and I will answer it as quick as possible. See you next time. Bye for now.